Hey, Nathan here from PH Studios, and welcome back to another artificial intelligence tutorial. This is covering obstacle avoidance. This is going to build on the last tutorial, which was wandering. If you have not watched that tutorial, please do so. This uses the very same concept of using vector math to push the object in a certain direction. Alright, so the whole idea between obstacle avoidance is basically the same thing as the last tutorial, which is wandering. We did not want it to go outside of the bounds of the game window, so what we did was have those game w sides of the game windows uh, sort of push the enemy to the opposite direction. So if it was going left and it reaches the left side of the game window, it would push it to the right and the object will turn and it will start going right in the opposite direction so it's now inside of the game window in the wide open area the concept is similar to this it, whenever it comes across an object that it can collide with it will push away in the opposite direction so we just take a very basic we take a vector just like we did for the seeking and fleeing, we get a distance vector, which is just getting it from point A to point B, the enemy to position, find out the length, and if it's less than the threshold, just like for fleeing, if the distance from the enemy is within a certain threshold, I need to do obstacle avoidance here. And, as you see, I use the wander. I have the wander capability, and on top of that, I built the obstacle avoidance. So we do two at once. Uh, as you see, it's pretty much the same thing. We just add the adjustment factor. But in this case, we want it to go the opposite direction, so we subtract the adjustment vector. As you see, we do some uh, calculations here with the adjustment vector that we do not do above. So we just need to do a subtraction of the adjustment vector in order to push it in the opposite direction. Alright, so if you have not done so, watch the other tutorial, the uh, wandering tutorial. I explain it several times and as much detail as I possibly could. Since this one is basically the exact same concept, this tutorial is going to be incredibly short. Uh, but you get the idea that it will need to be pushed away from an enemy when it's in, within a certain range. It will need to do vector math to push it in the opposite direction. Okay, so now what we need to do is we wander first and then we do the obstacle avoidance. And all this will calculate, it will do the vector math for the wandering and all the obstacle avoidance. And then we will update the player. So it could potentially, if the all three pl if the all three enemies, enemy one, enemy two, and enemy three, if all three of them are right next to a side of the screen, you could potentially have three obstacle avoidance algorithms and one wander algorithm all modify your player at the same time. In my example, you only get to do that twice, I believe. There's one enemy that's outside in the open area, then the other two are at the sides of the screen, and you could potentially have it do the both wander and obstacle avoidance adjustment. Alright, so I'm just going to go ahead and run the game, and uh, that'll be it for this, I guess. So right off the bat, you saw it avoid the enemy, and uh, it'll do it again here. So it does both obstacle avoidance and... Screen avoidance, sides of the screen, so it's using the wandering capabilities. So it's moving around to an all its random motion, and then when it reaches an enemy, it'll turn around and go the opposite way. Now, just like I mentioned in the last t tutorial, and last several tutorials, these samples will be more beneficial when I do round two, which is learning your environment and... Uh, Go in more advanced techniques, learning your environment, covering an area that you haven't covered yet. As you see, it's spending a whole lot of time on the right side of the screen. Now it's going to the left side of the screen. 
But when we do round two, we would have the object know because it will learn its environment. It will know it's spending all of its time on the right side of the screen and it needs to focus on the left side of the screen. So that will be round two. We will redo all these tutorials with the more advanced techniques of learning your environment and taking things to the next level. Maybe have obstacle avoidance on moving objects. Which you could potentially have here. You could just have the enemies move. And it should do the same thing. Uh, but anyway, there you go. It's using the wandering. And I just uh, modified the wandering technique for the obstacle avoidance. And it's doing a pretty good job. It's avoiding the obstacles. And it's doing its job that we told it to do. So anyway, that's it for this tutorial. And that's it for the artificial intelligence tutorial for the rest of the year. I made a forum posting on my website, and I'll just describe it in this video and the last networking tutorial I'm going to do. So if we're going to watch my networking tutorials after this one, I do mention it again, but these are two separate series, so that's why I'm mentioning it twice. Uh, these will, the, the tutorials today, this one and two, probably two networking tutorials. I don't think I'll get three made. But these tutorials today will be the last ones possibly of the year. Now I mean possibly because there might be a chance I do one tutorial next weekend or the weekend after. Uh, but do not count on that. Uh, assume that I will not release any tutorials. And if I do, it's just a... Uh, bonus basically the reason is is i'm gonna do all my spend all my free time finishing up the tower defense get that all set up and uh get that ready to go by late december or early january try to get things all cleaned up as possible and i think you really enjoy that series it's been a long series in the making uh especially since only a one-man team did all of it i did all the graphics the audio sound effects the videos and all that stuff so that's one of the reasons it took a while the other reasons it took a while was because i was finishing my college and uh, that got all busy and then looking for a new job after i graduated so uh, anyway point is after this i will be working on the tower defense uh, full-time I will not be doing any more tutorials. Uh, I might be able to help you out a few times, but I will not be on as much. Uh, the last few weeks, I haven't been as on as, on as much because I was doing the tower defense tutorial. And uh, I think once it's released, you will really appreciate all the time I spent on it. So anyway, that's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it, and stay tuned for two... Networking tutorials. See you next time.